Lots of problems yeah. out there. Yeah. Turning now to weather back home, Katie. Yeah, weather's I mean, pretty calm. Right, compared yeah. to that. Yeah. And by comparison, for sure, yeah. Yeah, nothing terribly extreme about our weather lately, other than, granted, you've had some flooding issues in the last couple of days, but these thunderstorms are essentially run-of-the-mill for the summertime. You kind of expect that they'll happen, so it's nothing outlandish. We certainly are not in the midst of a drought. We certainly don't have any wildfire issues, so that's a good thing. But uh, we do have our own set of minor issues to contend with all to see a frontal passage that'll take place later on tonight and into tomorrow. But outside Kutztown Henry Middle School to kick things off, you see a little bit of a haze, a little bit of that low lying uh, cloud cover right over the soccer field here. And uh, you may run into some poor visibility in spots because of this, but it's not quite as widespread of an issue as it had been yesterday. And even then, it was still scattered. 66 degrees, the current temperature here in Kutztown, but elsewhere, you're in the low 70s at the moment. So we just continue to build up that warmth in the atmosphere all ahead of this. It's much more organized looking storm system now with a center of circulation up across the Midwest Great Lakes region. Here's the trailing front. That's what crosses our area later tonight and into tomorrow. And that's what's going to help trigger any wet weather for our area. But in the meantime, you know, for the most part, any showers or storms that would pop this afternoon would likely happen inland. So I think if you're going to the shore, you've actually got a really nice day. Granted, humid and it's warm up to 85 degrees. Water temperatures are, however, also beginning to climb a little bit more with every passing week. And we're still in the mid 70s. Now, looking ahead at the Philadelphia conditions, or at least the temperature, Temperatures. This is uh, still representative, though, of the pattern across the region. When you look at these icons, we do still expect to see a shower storm fire up early tomorrow morning, but that is all with the passage of this front. So it should clear out. The humidity drops. The temperatures are obviously held back. And with lowering humidity, Sunday looks gorgeous. More rain, more storms on Monday, and we'll clear it out again for midweek. Misha?